This video teaches you about all the things you can do in Temtem once you beat the story. We'll talk about Dojo Master rematches, Koist Fishing, Luma Hunting in the Side Perk and with Radars, Free Tem, Post Office Deliveries, Breeding, Competitive PvP, and Lairs. I will not include side quests like getting a house or unlocking the teleporter since they aren't repeatable. Do note that this video is coming out before Arbory has been released, so once the full story is out, there will surely be even more things to do. I'm Millars, and I've been playing Temtem since the week it was released on Early Access. If you find this video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps. If you want more Temtem guides and other fun Temtem content, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now let's get into it! One of the things you can do after completing Temtem's story is Dojo Master rematches. Every week you can refight the Dojo Masters, but instead of the team they had during the story, they'll have a full competitive team. You currently earn about 7,000 pansons per Dojo Master every week from the Dojo rematches, though that amount goes down by 500 pansons every time you lose to that Dojo Master that week. This is one of the best ways to get money in the game. The pansons you earn here will help you in many other activities I'll be mentioning in this video. Winning rematches also nets you radars, which will help you luma hunt and gather breeding stock. Radars also help you farm pansons with free tem, since radar temtem can have quite high levels. I'll explain more about radars and free tem later. You'll fight the dojo masters in the same format as competitive matches, starting with a team of 8 temtem, going through a pick and ban phase, then fighting with your 5 selected temtem. If you've never done competitive battles before, you'll have to prepare a team to have a fighting chance at taking down these upgraded dojo masters. If you're intimidated by deciding what temtem to put on your team, don't fret. I'll be putting together a sample team you can strive for in a future video. With practice, the sample team should be able to take down every Dojo Master. You can also watch my guide on how to beat the Dojo Master rematches, I'll link in the iCard above and in the description below. The guide has plenty of suggestions for individual Temtem that work well against specific Dojos. I plan on having another guide soon that talks about general competitive strategies that might help as well. I ran out of iCards, so I made a playlist of every video I mentioned in this guide. There are other optional daily and weekly quests you can do besides the Dojo Mastery matches. One of these weekly quests is the Koish Fishing Quest. At the new Lodge, there's a bulletin board with a Koish with a specific pattern. Find and bring a Koish with at least 4 of the 5 bulletin board characteristics and you'll be rewarded with things like candies, telomere hacks, egg technique courses, furniture, and more. Check out my guide on fishing for more information on this quest. Luma hunting in the side park and with radars is another weekly endeavor. While not a quest per se, the side park resets and changes its featured Temtem each week. Every other week, the Luma rates of the featured Temtem in the side park are boosted. You can check to see if the featured Temtem is a Luma you want. If it is, you can make that your weekly quest to look for a Luma in the park. Check out my What is the Side Park video if you want more information on the side park. Radars also boost the Luma rates of Temtem. They are obtained from the first three Dojo Master rematches you beat every week, excluding Rawiri and they expire at the end of each week. Raiders are basically a way of chaining Temtem for increased Luma odds. The levels of the encountered Raider Temtem also steadily increase until they're just under the maximum level, which is relevant for the next weekly quest I'll mention. Check out my guide on Radars if you'd like to know more about them. I will say that if you're on the fence about Luma hunting, don't do it. Luma hunting takes a lot of time and dedication, and unless you get insanely lucky and get a Luma fast, that's a lot of hours you've used up that you'll never get back. Luma hunting is essentially gambling your time in exchange for the possibility of a Luma, and it can be addicting and disruptive to a productive life. I regret hunting for a lot of the Lumas I have, and for even more of the Lumas that I wasn't lucky enough to get. I don't regret doing this canoe radar though. Luma hunting can be fun in moderation. Another weekly quest is Free Tem. You can access this quest in the Free Tem Organization Building, which is next to the Breeding Center in Omnonesia. Free Tem rewards you with pansons for every Temtem you release that week up to about 400 Temtem. The maximum amount of Temtem you get rewarded for changes from week to week. The amount of money you get depends on the Temtem you release. Higher level Temtem are worth more. Temtem that have a lower catch rate, meaning they're harder to catch, are also worth more. You'll also get more rewards after you hit a certain threshold of release Temtem. Every Monday at 3am EST, the bulletin board at the Free Temp Organization updates to show you what those rewards are. The rewards are often DNA strands, dyes, telomere hacks, wishy well coins, and other various items. The maximum amount of Temtem you can get money for that week corresponds to the highest tier on that bulletin board. For example, for this week, you would only have to receive money for the first, 
Insert number of year Temtem you release. If you don't claim your rewards the week you release the Temtem, you will still be able to claim the money in the future, but you'll miss out on the item rewards. Some of the best Temtem to farm for free tem are Radar Temtem and the Koish at the Nuru Lodge. If you free tem farm at the Nuru Lodge, you're killing two birds with one stone looking for your bulletin board Koish while also getting free tem money. Currently, the most money you can make from free temming is from catching Mimit. I will probably make a guide on Mimit in the future, but for now, you can use this Reddit guide by Infern. The only true daily quests so far are the post office deliveries. Every day, you can go to the post office in Kisoa and deliver food to people all over the archipelago to obtain pansons and other rewards like fruits and possibly eggs or telomere hacks. Check out my post office guide for more information on these daily delivery quests. Something you can do that isn't time sensitive is breeding Temtem. Breeding perfect Temtem is a lucrative activity if you do it correctly and sell your spare perfects to other players. Though breeding also requires a hefty startup cost. Dojo rematches and free temming are great for earning up enough for the initial pants on cost. Perfect Temtem are pretty much necessary when playing in tournaments because SPs don't scale on tournament matches. Perfect Temtem are nice, albeit not required to have for Dojo rematches as well, since the higher stats will make the fights easier. Be careful when breeding, since doing it wrong can result in losing tens of thousands of pansons. Do it right and you can earn even more! To learn how to breed Temtem, you can watch my guide on how breeding works, then watch this guide on how to breed perfect Temtem. If you want to breed but don't want to breed perfect Temtem just yet, you could also breed Temtem with decent SVs and make eggs with egg moves for dojo rematches and competitive battles. Since these eggs are cheap and easy to make, you might find it rewarding to make a couple extra eggs and hand them out to new players and dennis for them to use during their story. You can use the non-perfect Temtem you breed in competitive ladder matches, since SVs and levels do scale to the maximum in ladder matches and only in ladder matches. Playing competitive matches can be very fun and rewarding and can make a lot of pansons at higher levels. There are multiple viable strategies and playstyles that you can try out until you find one that clicks with you. It takes time to learn how competitive matches work, but once you start earning TMR and climbing that comp ladder, it can feel quite satisfying. Watching tournament matches can level up your own competitive skills, and once you feel confident in using your team, you can even participate in the competition! Again, you'll need perfect temptum for tournament matches. Interacting with the Twitch community while watching tournaments or streamers playing competitive matches also makes the game a fun social outlet. To do PvP, your Temtem will need to be TV trained, so check out the iCard above or the description below for a playlist on how to TV train and level your Temtem. The videos in the playlist will be updated soon to show post Kisuin strategies like using Hurrywort Oshiera to easily farm the Earth Shrine. The last repeatable endgame content you can do pre arbory is Lairs. Lairs are a multiplayer roguelike minigame where five players team up to transverse a randomly generated dungeon. Along the way, you collect rental Temtem to use in battles against NPCs. The dungeon culminates in one big boss battle with the mythical Temtem! This boss battle seems to change from week to week, meaning the traits and moves the boss has won't always be the same. Layers are a great way to farm for Telomere hacks, ETCs, Wishy Will coins, and obtain mythical Temtem. Currently only one layer is accessible in the Anak Volcano, but it looks like another layer will be added to the Sacred Lakes in Sapanku in the future. Check out my guide on layers for more information on this activity. That's all there is to do after the Sapanku story so far. Once the game is fully released, there will be a battle tower type arena and more things to do, so keep your eyes peeled for those activities. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment telling everyone what you plan to do after the story, and sharing this video with your friends. I also stream on Twitch, so feel free to drop a follow and come chat with us when we're live! I have a Temtem giveaway every Monday with the stream starting at 8pm EST. Join us and you might win a perfect Temtem or even a Luma! If you want more guides and other Temtem content, subscribe and hit the bell icon, and I'll see you next time!